What's going on, people? So today we're going to go over King's best throws that you should be using. We're going to start off with the rock bottom. You know, this is a grab that comes from crouch. You can't do it standing. But it's good that you can actually buffer it from other moves that recover crouching. Like down back three, if that hits, you get an uninterruptible, unsidesteppable rock bottom. Even if the opponent tries to, like, mash a hop kick or something, they'll still get counter hit out of it. And it'll be super hard to break. 45 damage, real, real, real big damage. And also, it gets even better. The Oki from it, after you land this, down four is actually guaranteed. Let me try and see if I can actually get it. Okay, okay, you see down four guarantee right there. Doesn't matter if they lay on the ground. Yeah, you see if they lay on the ground, they still get hit by down four. So that's an extra four points. It could be more if they try to like mash or get up kick or something. But um, yeah, 45 plus four, 49 damage, almost 50. So this grab is really good. And also if they like wake up trying to back roll, you can definitely catch them with down four. One becomes unblockable even if they are like standing up real fast you can still catch them with that as well yeah it's a really really good option you can also substitute that with forward three that beats like all options except for like laying steel and um like side roll to the right i believe so yeah rock bottom um really good throw good damage remember buffer it from moves like down back three and down jabs you can mix it up with other throws like giant swing you want a twister you know you can even mix it up with that for a circle four one so yeah that's a really good option to use yeah rock bottom pretty good throw next up is the muscle buster this throw is really good it's actually one frame faster than the rest of his um, one plus two breaks. You see up forward, one plus two is 12, figure four, that's 12, and even rock bottom that we just went over, that's also 12. But muscle buster, a little bit faster, just one frame faster. Huge, huge damage. Five more points than the rock bottom, 50, yeah. Huge damage, and look, after he does it, He's back turned to the opponent, so he can do things like moonsault if they try to back roll. He can um, also get a guaranteed back turn three. That's a lot harder to do. See, I just missed it there. Let me try and actually land this. Yeah, yeah, you see? Huge, huge damage. That's 64 damage. If you can get it off, yeah, that's actually real, real tough. May as well call it a just frame, but super rewarding <laughs> yeah muscle buster really good okay you can decide if you want to um like do moonsault you can do the back turn low drop kick whatever you want after that or you can just turn back around and chase him that's also fine start your pressure that way but this throw you can use it so many different ways it can be buffered any kind of way from standing from crouching so just like the rock bottom after down back three hits, you can do muscle buster here. But again, this move can be done from standing or crouching. So um, that's really, really good. So anytime you're like in plus, just like I went over in my guide, definitely watch that by the way. Anytime you hit the opponent, muscle buster is a go-to grab to use. Yeah, the reward is just really, really high. And plus, you know, grabs if you throw someone out of armor they're unbreakable so yeah this is a lot of damage and that can really get the opponent to stop trying to do armor moves as well as to try and stop attacking when they're at a disadvantage so yeah gotta utilize a lot of muscle buster the last really good thing about it is that um you can actually do it from crouch dash and mix it up with his multi throws so you know he has crouch dash multi throws let me just show you guys this super damaging Mexican surfboard here. Yeah, and it looks all the same. Like, it looks like a double break, you see. Crouch dash, 2 plus 3. Crouch dash, 1 plus 4. Crouch dash, muscle buster. 
Yeah, you see, they all look really, really similar, right? Because they're all identical. Yeah. Muscle Buster, if you can do this from Crouch Dash, then you can have a three-way mix-up from your Crouch Dash to mix up with the multi-throws. Really throw the opponent off, so they really have to guess anyways, but having a three-way is a lot better than just a two-way. Pause. Having a three-way guess is a lot better than just having only two. So um, definitely try to like learn how to use Muscle Buster and mask it behind Crouch Dash so that you can really get the opponent to guessing. So the Tier 1 of Twister right now is actually his best two-break throw. If you don't want to count multi-throws, yeah, this throw here, if you can do the blue one, it's actually 55 damage. That is crazy. Even more than the Tombstone. See, Tombstone is 53. You're negative one after you land it. And you don't get too many options to continue your offense. Also, remember, if they try to jump, it turns into the spinning power bomb. Big, big damage. It's 42. Wow. That's a lot of damage if they try to, like, jump. But anyways, it also shines with the Oki here. So, after you do it, the opponent is laying a little, like, sideways. So, check this. Let me just set them to try and do a um, spring attack. See, they can't do it. The opponent can't do spring kicks in that angle because they're too far on the side. So um, that's really good. It limits the opponent's options when they're trying to get up. So forward three, like I just uh, showed you guys, it covers a lot of options. If they try to get up with the uh, like get up kick, if they try to back roll, all of that stuff hits them. So let me uh, just record the status here. Yeah, you see, if they try to get up back rolling, it hits them. Then you can keep chasing after them after that. If they stand up, they can block, but um, you're safe. Forward three is safe. So that's actually really good. So if they try to side roll to the left, or lay there or back roll or obviously do get up kicks they'll get hit if they stand up then they have to block but they can't escape it if they uh side roll to the right but of course that's gonna take some real good attention to positioning to be able to like know that a four or three is coming but also down forward one if you time it right it actually beats that as well same for uh back rolls if you do it fast enough yeah, yeah, to hit them before they get up. But if you do it a little bit slower, let me see. Yeah, if you do it a little bit slower and time it right, then it actually hits them like standing. So yeah, you can definitely use uh, Tier 1 of Twister. The same ways that you can use a Muscle Buster. You can buffer it from moves, you know, that recover crouching or standing. It's fully bufferable. You can even do it from Crouch Dash. Even though it's really not that um, useful from Crouch Dash, you can do it from uh, running, kind of mix up Shining uh, Wizard. You can definitely do it that way. That's a really, really strong throw. Again, 55 damage, I mean, geez. Man, that is a lot. Next up, I want to talk about King's Chain Throws. Obviously, these throws here are consecutive. You can get a lot of damage if the opponent guesses wrong and doesn't break. This is the most infamous one of them all, the Rolling Death Prater. So much damage. And like I mentioned earlier, they start with double break animations, but they actually have single breaks to them. So yeah, Crash Dash 2 plus 3 here. This is the uh, ankle lock. You can actually uh, get the Mexican surfboard or like the STL. Let me go for the STL. All of them do really good damage. You get the initial break. Like right here, the two break. You can break that. And you get a chance to break the extension here, which is a one break. So if you don't break that, 50 damage. He puts them right there face down. Pretty much feet towards, but a little bit to the side. Real good Oki afterwards. Let me show you. Against most characters, um, you'll be able to get like an easy, like alley kick or whatever. 
But my timing is just bad. Let me try and do it one more time. Let's try to simplify this. Get this record feature. Yeah, yeah, you see, I get hits right there. Let me make sure that they can't side roll. Yeah, it's guaranteed. But as you see, it's it's a real, real tough, tight window. But yeah, 50 damage, you get 11 damage, so 61. Not really bad at all. That's pretty high damage. So you want to use the chain throws. Mix them up with uh, like mids, cross dash into while standing four. That's the fastest thing. Close in uh, speed, you see 11 frames, and you know this is 12. So you definitely want to mix them up with that. If you want to be a little bit risky, but get a high reward. While rising one plus two, do a basic combo. Yeah, so if they would have eaten like a chain throw and didn't guess right, it'll be around that amount of damage as long as it's not like the Mexican surfboard or the uh, rolling death cradle. But you see here, we got a uh, sharpshooter. Real good damage. And you notice all of them pretty much leave the opponent like in real bad positions. That's another benefit. So that's why the chain throws are so good to use. They do real good damage. They have a real like ambiguous animation. And obviously the Oki after it can probably get you even more damage if the opponent guesses wrong or if you're like able to time the guaranteed alley kick. So um, yeah, definitely use chain throws. And obviously, um, we haven't gone over this yet, but the Jaguar step multis, these are even better than the crouch dash in my opinion, because um, these grabs here, they actually double as air throws. So if the opponent is um, like in the air, then it converts to a spinning power bone. So the Jaguar step multis, real good. The first two, I guarantee if they don't break the initial throw, leaves them right there where you want them and if you're good enough with execution alley kick is guaranteed here of course that wasn't the guaranteed version that was way too slow could have got it up and blocked that but um it's guaranteed trust me let me um actually set this up so you guys can see what it looks like so i'm gonna just record it here yeah there it is there it is if you can time the alley kick then Real good damage. I think that's um, 43 altogether. So yeah, that's not bad at all. That's like almost rock bottom damage. So, um, but if they want to get up too fast. Yeah, yeah. You can get a lot of damage if they try and stand back up. That's highly not recommended. I think most people either just lay there, side roll, or like back roll. But most people don't just get straight up. So yeah, just use your chain throws, but remember they are pretty slow on startup. So you'll have to definitely mix them up. Jaguar step two, real good mix up. Guarantees crouch throws. Real, real solid damage, 50. And if they fail to break, you at least get the first two cards. And then allocate guaranteed after that, but it's hard to do. Um, if you want to keep going, then obviously there are just so many different routes you can go. I just do the samurai rock here because it looks cool. Yeah, 69 damage. Yikes, that's a lot. So yeah, use multi throws, lots of damage, real high payoff. But they're a little bit risky because they're kind of telegraphed but it's up to you to mix them up with mid attacks and change the timing of them. The Rapid King Onslaught is the next throw you guys should be using. Obvious reasons, um, unbreakable. And it's a heat engager. Being a heat engager, that means it's, um, it's gonna put you in the heat, obviously. But if you have any recoverable health, you can get a lot of that back, if not all of it back, depending on how much you have. So it's real, real strong of a throw. Yeah, it's homing, unbreakable, and obviously, you know, you can have as much range as you want. Takes all these steps with the Jaguar sprint, close the distance, and if he actually has heat activated, it becomes armored. So they're attacking, then 
you can actually use it to um, like absorb hits and then get the RKO. So let me show you. Yeah, stuff like this. Yeah. See, it actually shows up as a punish. That is crazy. But yeah. It's also really good because look at the damage. It's 45 damage. And it leaves them right there. So alley kick is pretty much guaranteed. Some characters can uh, side roll it. Let me show you. Like to the right. But some characters can. Yeah, Devil Gen can. Yeah, but if you like crouch and um, do two of them for some reason, that attacks. I don't know why. But you'll be at a huge disadvantage. So um, yeah, alley kick is it's kind of iffy. But I would just go for a single one because if they like side roll and it whips, then they don't really get too much. So you're still pretty much safe. So definitely use that. It can add up a lot of points of life. But uh, yeah, RKO is pretty good. But don't use it too obviously because um, it's kind of reactable. It's the same speed as down back three. So that point, the point before the run, makes it so that um, the opponents, you know, are really on the lookout for it. So if you want to kind of like mask it, use this move first and then run. So that's just three plus four while you're doing the uh, power crush. See, at least he does a point first. He does this first. But you can obviously just run normally and maybe try and mix it up that way. But if not, just go for mids. Go for um, these moves here. Remember, guarantee people's elbow. Guaranteed alley kick after people's elbow. If they get too uh, like duck happy, they want to duck so much, then you can make them pay with that. So uh, definitely use that as a mix up. You can kind of use the thread of the RKO. That's why the move is so good because you can always like throw this move out at a crazy time and it actually works. Like sometimes when it's obvious, it still works because people just aren't reacting to it yet. But um, I still think it's really good. 23 frames is, is seeable, but at the same time, like he has some strong mid variants, you know? So um, definitely use the RKO. And obviously we have the Freedom Face Buster, <laughs> the, the pedigree. So it's guaranteed from Jaguar Step 2, and it's guaranteed from 4-4 plus 2. So those are two ways to get it guaranteed. But again, it's really good because it's a heat engager. Again, if you have some recoverable health, you can restore some of it once you activate heat with it. So that's real, real good. You can actually catch people randomly ducking too. Like you run up and they try to duck or like Ling Zayu trying to do AOP or Zafina and Mantis stance. This is a good answer. So um, you can use that, activate heat, go crazy, have access to all of those cool perks of heat. And if you can land this again, then of course you can refill some of your heat. Of course, all of this stuff is already known, but just to reiterate, super, super strong. So um, yeah, definitely want to use a lot of that. Again, it's unbreakable and it sets up decent. Okay, so if they try to uh, quick stand here, you can actually hit them with like down forward too. Yeah, it hits them right before they get up. Down for one also works. But if they lay there, both of those moves miss. But then you can actually get alley kick or like four, four neutral two. Just go for like a safer low if they want to just lay on the ground. So um, down three, four, four neutral two. Use those two after that and mix it up with like down four one and, and down four with two. Also, if for whatever reason the opponent's airborne, they're trying to like hop kick you or something, 
then it turns into an aggro. So um, it turns into the uh, multi throw. You have to be ready to like input the rest of it, unless you just wanna get the Oki here, which is decent Oki. It's decent. They recover um, back turns just for a couple of frames. Sets up stuff like that. Muscle Buster with the giant swing animation. So yeah, yeah. Freedom Face Buster, aka the Pedigree, really good throw. Definitely use it. This is my go-to if I like ever land a Jaguar Step Two or like Four Four Two. Yeah, the only way I would go for like these other two is if there's like a Floor Blast or a uh, Floor Break, because those would definitely break. Pedigree doesn't break the floor or anything, but it does activate heat and it refills heat, so it's a win-win. So the next throw is the Shining Wizard, aka the Tomahawk, running 2 plus 4. You see how fast it is? It's as fast as a jab once you actually hit 2 plus 4. And you can do it from running. It's so, so good of a throw. It's definitely top 2 as far as King's throws. You should definitely use this a lot, especially with throws being homing and having a counter hit effect to where they're harder to break. Definitely use this. And if you can, try to master this blue one here with the blue sparks. Super, super damaging. 45. And you can do it from some, like, cross dashes, uh, wave dash. Yeah. I'm not too great at doing wave boo into the blue stuff, but that's just super good if you can execute it. It's really good. It, it looks just like Giant Swing except that it's from running and if you're able to like make both of those two look similar as far as your execution if you're able to mask them then they're like two really ridiculous mix-ups so um yeah shining wizard it has the same oki as the tier one of twister you see um they're sideways here meaning that they're unable to do spring kicks let me show you Yeah, they try to spring kick, get up three comes out. And again, if they try to back roll, you can just forward three and then catch him. Yeah, and then you can start something else. So this is actually a sequence that happens a lot. Let me uh, show you. And to it again, so yeah. You can kind of loop it if the opponent just keeps like getting up wrong and not breaking the throws. So it can be a lot of damage added up real fast. Also, it turns into the running Jaguar bomb if the opponent is airborne for whatever reason. Big 45, you can make it blue. Jeez, that's a lot of damage, 49. So yeah, super strong. Looks exactly like the giant swing. So if you're able to mix those two up, then you'll have a real disgusting mix up with your throws. So the best throw that King has as it's always been John swing so many reasons why it's as fast as a jab just like a shiny wizard and this can be buffered from anything you know if you land a jab you land one two you land a down three chest bump just so many different ways to get this throw to come out and if the opponent isn't paying attention they will get grabbed and they have to tech roll this. Like, there's extra effort even after you don't break the throw from the opponent. They have to tech the throw as soon as they hit the ground. If they do not, look at this damage here. Yeah, let me just let them just hit the ground hard. Extra 20 points on top of the 45. So 65 damage. Crazy. Yeah, and here... It'll be 70 damage if they don't tech. It's crazy, crazy damage. Yeah, the blue, the blue version does five extra points. So you just add that up. If they do tech roll, then it's 50 damage. And just like Shining Wizard and so many other throws, it can convert into an air throw if the opponent's caught out the air by it. So it's real, real good. You have the fact that it's as fast as a jab. The fact that it's homing now because of the Tekken 8 system with the throws. The fact that they can be counter hit 
Like if they hit the opponent out or something, then they're even harder to break. And the blue version doing five more points of damage, it is just ridiculous. And oh yeah, definitely the um, the wall effect is just super, super strong. Yeah, if you could throw them into the wall with this, 70 damage, insane damage. It is a real go-to for king players, especially if your back is against the wall, to mix up giant swing and of course the uh, lift and choke, because you can actually get a uh, pretty chunky combo here. 54, not bad. It can be a little bit more if you make it blue, but it's an actual mix up. Some people can't tell the difference between a regular double animation and a giant swing animation. Yeah, I forgot to add. Yeah, this is actually a one break. So if the opponent doesn't break this with one, yeah, then they'll have to again, like try to tech roll and not add another 20 damage to the 45. So yeah, super strong throw. Yeah, I don't have the notation up this time, but um, yeah, it's forward half circle forward one. And like I mentioned for um, Shining Wizard, you can mix the two up. You see, they actually have the exact same animation, exact same, but different throw breaks. So you can actually like do the input of Giant Swing and then do forward forward, down plus forward one, and Giant Swing will come out from running. You see, it looks just like that. But you just have to make sure you input all the directions. Yeah, you can definitely make them like super ambiguous. So it's a super strong mix up, super strong mix up. Giant Swing is um, definitely, it's, it's his best throw because you can just use it as a jab since it's the same speed and you can get so many like counter hits, so many interrupts and just catch people overall like lacking unable to break it lots of damage so um hope you guys found this pretty useful use lots of giant swing it's definitely the most used throw that like i use i'm sure most other king players use it the most too for obvious reasons it's so good should definitely be using that throw along with the other ones too but hopefully you guys found this useful if there's any other throws you guys like that i didn't mention uh, let me know in the comments Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I got some more videos on the way. You guys have a great one. Peace.